What's up YouTube, this is Tech Time today, and there is very important news that just came out regarding the processor industry. VRZone is cl claiming that one of their most reliable sources has given them the pricing scheme for the new Sandy Bridge E processors that Intel will be releasing later this year. And basically they're just going to replace the price points of the current NALM processors. So the i7-3820 will be 294 just as the i7-960 is today. Then you have the i7-3930K, which will be 583, and replace the i7-980. And then you have the top-end Extreme Edition, i7-3960X, which will replace the i7-990X. Now the 3820 is a quad-core with 10 megabytes of L3 cache, while the 3930K is a 6-core with 12 megabytes of L3 cache, and the i7-3960X is a 6-core with 15 megabytes of L3 cache. So there are differences in these models, unlike Nail M, where for the longest time, going from the bottom all the way up to the Extreme Edition, it was the same besides the clock speed. Now with the introduction of the 990X, that changed, but before when it was the 980X and those you or 970x whatever it was before that uh it was all four cores with eight threads now now when you go to the top end there's actually a difference besides the clock speed so big big news in the processor industry and then another bit of news about sandy bridge e that's come out is that intel is actually not going to be bundling any heatsink with it there were rumors that they would not do a regular heatsink and that they would do a closed-loop liquid cooling solution, such as what AMD is thinking of doing. But it turns out that they are actually considering bundling no heatsink at all with it because gamers and power users that normally buy them will want to overclock them or just not be satisfied with a stock cooler even if they're not going to overclock it, so they were going to buy a, a liquid cooling system or a high-end air cooler anyway. So, I don't know what to think of this. I mean, I kind of like having a stock cooler with it, not just... It's not like I'm going to use it, but just to have the security of knowing I have one. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think about it, because I'm a little bit torn between it, between whether this is a good thing or a bad thing. It lets them keep the costs a little bit down, but then on the other hand, if you don't have a cooler on hand and you're not getting one for another couple of days, then you're not going to be able to use your Sandy Bridge E processor. Alright, so that's it. Uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.